every time I have a clean dress and I drink coffee. You know what? We're just gonna roll with it. Try that again without the coffee spelling. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I don't really like saying that. Hello friends. Hello. 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 Do you guys remember when I did the like Snow White intro? Hello. No spelling. Hello friends. So today I'm going to be talking about teacup girl brooches. My wonderful friend Bonita of teacup girl sent me some brooches and asked if I would like to make a little lookbook and style some things and talk about her brooches and I have loved her brooches for years oh somebody's crying it's been one of those mornings where somebody's always crying <laughs> one of the children is always crying I'm guessing it has something to do with lunch. My husband is doing that. But um, if you hear kid noises in the background, I'm going to try to ignore it. And I'm sorry. Why do I sound Canadian? That was weird. Um, but anyway, um, I just love her brooches. I think she's an amazing artist. And I've been admiring them from afar. She let me pick out a few brooches. And then she sent me some extras. I was not expecting all of the amazing things that she sent me. So, um, I'm really excited to just share her art with you and her brooches. They are so cute. In the realm of uh, acrylic brooches, which I think that's what these are, I really love what she does. She does a lot of layering work and all of that. So Bonita sent me some brooches and today I'm going to share a lookbook featuring all of the brooches, styling all of the brooches, and sharing a little bit about what I love about each one. And I hope that you enjoy this video. Let's, let's get into it. So one thing to note is that Teacup Girl is in Australian dollars, so when you go to the website, it will offer to change it over to USD for you. A lot of people, I, I talked about an Australian brand before and a lot of people went, oh, they're way too expensive for me. And I wanted to be like, well, actually they're a little bit cheaper than what it seems like because you're shopping in Australian dollars. So it, don't forget to, to either just change over your, uh, your conversion rate, whatever that's called change it over to US dollars. And also, if I get this video out in time, she is having a second sale, kind of like a Christmas in July, but in June. So you can snag a few of these brooches on sale, which I highly recommend. If, like me, you love a good deal, um, now is the perfect time to be shopping on her website because she does have quite... I know that there's one or two of these brooches that are on sale, um, and they are... They are so cute. Believe me when I say they are so cute. So the first brooch that I want to share with all of you, she actually sent me, she has some matching earrings for some of her brooches. So she sent me the Forget Me Not brooch in blue with the matching little earrings, which I absolutely love. These are so pretty. I love the detail that she puts into her brooches with the different, like the texture, it's not texture, the different color shift almost of the leaves and the the flowers are all slightly different so that it gives a lot of depth to the brooches. Um, her care for detail is incredible and she does a lot of layering as well. So there are different layers to the brooch and the earrings that just gives them a life that I haven't seen in acrylic brooches like this before. She hand paints every piece. I just think it's so beautiful. So let's get into the outfit of styling these really, really sweet blue forget-me-not earring and brooch set.
So the second brush that I'm going to talk about is the Nasturtium's Delight. And this one, she was hoping to send me this while to, before I went to Hawaii for my brother-in-law's wedding. Unfortunately, it didn't arrive in time, so I wasn't able to style it there, but it would have been absolutely perfect for a more tropical uh, background. I think this is really, really pretty, and it's extremely delightful to me that the top flower is glittery. I love that detail. I think it's wonderful. This comes in a peachy pink with some darker coral in the center, and it has really pretty leaves. I like the matte effect of the leaves. I just... I am in awe over the detail that she puts into every single piece. They are incredible. They are beautiful. They are absolutely worth shopping for. Hi, baby. <laughs> I have an intruder. one of my favorite ones. It is called the Pot of Daisies and this comes with either a silver or a gold handle and it has this lavender teapot that is filled with daisies. I think it is precious. I absolutely love it. Here on the farm we have tons of daisies during the summer. Um, when we came to look at our house the field was full of daisies so I have a soft spot for daisy themed things and this comes with matching earrings which are one of these boxes. So this comes with little matching earrings, which I think, again, I think you can also get these in a stud. I could be wrong. With this brooch, I especially really love the detail of the teapot, which is kind of like a paisley embossed. It's very textural, and I really like that. And the daisies, like, just the little, the little background daisies, the way that she stuck a little background piece. Phone's gonna fall off my lap. Um, to make it look more in-depth and more three-dimensional is just brilliant. Her work is amazing. And the teapot, even the end of the teapot has a little hole in it so you can pretend you're pouring a pot of daisies, a teacup full of daisies. But this one is so beautiful and for this I decided to style it all yellow and go out <laughs> in the weeds in my field and shoot an outfit. So here it is. she sent me this stunning brooch called butterfly kisses I think it's called butterfly kisses this one the detail is out of this world the the different shades of the flower are just incredible and beautiful and they're each kind of like marbled almost so you get a lot of dimension in the flower and the butterfly has hearts on its wings which I did not realize when I looked at it online um, even though she photographs them really well, so I don't know why I didn't notice that. But when I got it, the butterfly wings have little hearts in them, and it's very shiny, so you get a lot of dimension and beauty in this brooch, and I just, oh, this might be my favorite one. Well, almost my favorite one, honestly. 
you all know me. So of course my favorite one is going to be the strawberry one. But this one is a, a, a close second. I just think that the colors are beautiful. The butterfly is beautiful. Everything about this is just perfection. She's an artist. She truly is an artist. And I love this one. So let's roll into how I styled it. Which the dress that I styled it with, it just went so perfectly. I was in just amazed by how perfectly it went together. It's just perfect. we're going to talk about the one that I'm wearing which oh come out okay there we go my dress is very thick which is called the strub uh, I want to say strawbies but that's probably wrong <laughs> I was right this is called strawbies it's called street streets <laughs> street bees it's called, <laughs> it's called sweet strawbies and it features three little strawberries and a cute little bumblebee on the this strawberry I love this one she told me she was actually thinking about me when she made this and that is delightful to me I love that so many people think of me when they make strawberry things or see strawberry things I always love being tagged in strawberries this one I don't know if you can see from here but of course you will see in the footage I'm wearing the matching little drop earrings which also come in studs the strawberry brooch what can I say it's just it's perfect it's beautiful I love it it's my favorite one um I love that she used gold tone flex in there. Um, I love that there's a little pink, like an unripe strawberry, and the bee is very beautifully golden. It's just, it's perfect. What can I say? I love it so much. So let's roll the footage. You can already see my outfit, but we're going to roll the footage anyway because it's way too cute not to. Was I awkwardly put this back on? is a wearable whimsical brand of accessories that just serve to bring a little bit of whimsy to your day and I really love Bonita's eye for detail and her her artistic talent that comes through <laughs> I can't think of words right now I'm so sorry her artistic talent just really shines in every single piece that she makes I love the variety of what she creates and you can really tear tear you can really tell that she cares about every piece that she makes. I also especially love that Bonita is a mom herself. She has three kids and she's still pursuing this artistic endeavor, which is really important to me to represent. I have always really loved representing brands or working with people who are like me, where we are stay-at-home moms or we are work-from-home moms. And it's really important to me to show that you can be a mother and also be a creative. You can be a mother and also pursue the things that you love to do. Um, I feel like moms are often represented as their whole life is just kids 
and I get asked a lot how I do things with kids like how do I produce videos how do I find time to write how do I I don't know how do I find time to find to take photos and I think the answer is just that I always knew it was important to retain a part of myself throughout motherhood throughout marriage a part of myself that was just myself that had always been there moms um, should be allowed and encouraged to pursue things outside of motherhood and homemaking. Motherhood and homemaking are wonderful things and I'm not saying that they're not wonderful things and that you can't pursue them wholeheartedly if that's what you love to do, but I also think it's important to support moms who are pursuing other things and who do love to do things outside of motherhood and homemaking because we are whole people and I think that's often forgotten. So that is it. Those are all of the looks that I created with teacup girl brooches. I highly encourage you to go check out Bonita's website. I will link it down below, of course, and I will try to directly link all of the brooches that I featured here, but definitely have a little browse of her whole website because she has a lot of really amazing pieces. She is definitely somebody worth supporting. Just go follow her on Instagram. All of her socials will be linked down below for you to follow. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you like my vibe. And if you would like to support my channel in more ways than just commenting and liking and subscribing, you can always go down to my Ko-Fi page where you can tip me for the work that I do here. I had somebody ask if I could turn on the like the little thanks. I guess YouTube has a tipping function now, but I don't really know how to turn that on or if I'm allowed to. I don't know if my channel is big enough. I don't know, I looked into it, I couldn't figure it out, but if you would like to tip my channel, you can go down to my Ko-Fi page and tip me there. You could leave me a message. I think you can leave a message even if you don't tip. Whatever you wanna do. <laughs> it's down there, it's available, you can follow that. But yeah, I really appreciate all of the support and hello to 16,000 subscribers. By the way, I am, like my mind is blown. We're getting like further and further along. My new goal has been like 25,000 subscribers, so if you liked this video please subscribe help me get to that goal that would be super exciting to reach i'm not gonna lie i will probably scream but <laughs> all of that aside i am very thankful for all of you i hope that wherever you are you are feeling safe and loved and until i see you again have a beautiful day and thank you for watching bye subscribe if you like my vibe Let me know which brooch is your favorite. Down, my goodness. <laughs> meow, meow, meow. Starting with this beautiful hydrangea. I think this is a hydrangea. I should be looking up everything. I am rambling. I am rambling so much. Welcome to my channel. I never get to the point. <laughs> wow, that was the sound. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, no, mm -mm. Hello friends, hello friends. Hello my darlings. I'm having like a identity crisis right now. Hello, so, excuse me. <sighs> hello, and I want to live a, 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 some sort of lifestyle. Hello friends. <laughs> me spacing out on how I introduce any of my videos, I don't really know. That is <laughs> So hello. Hello friends.